In just a moment, we'll take you through the incredible introduction of the M-Vision 2. But first, I want to talk to you about that greeting, it's time to hide. Now that's a sentence that represents the future vision of the M-Vision Mobis. Mobis would like you to think about a life where imagination becomes reality. And by the M-Vision Mobis. It features an integrated pillar module on top of the central cabin. Now in just a moment, I'll take you into the downtown of the future where you can experience all the mixed reality contents on the interior. But first, I want to talk to you about its most important features, starting out with that integrated pillar module. Now that's the reason I call it a future mobility. It handles all that futuristic technology. It was designed with the motif of a lower hydrofoil like on a yacht, and it has sensors for autonomous driving, lighting for communication, and an e-corner module for driving. Now when you take that space module, you put it on top of those four integrated pillar modules and you add in that riding module, that's what gives you that full mobility you see here in all of its glory. Next I want to talk about that vertical communication lighting you see running so elegantly along the front of that pillar module. Now that is going to be served as the front, rear, daytime running lights and curtain signal lamps while driving. Next, we have our vision eye sensor on the top of each of the pillar modules. Now that is the state-of-the-art sensor that houses our PMTS, or our Pedestrian Motion Tracking Sensor. That can recognize dangerous situations and pedestrians around the mobility, and then respond to them in real time with lighting and feedback. Lastly, that kinetic lighting on the front there has seven different kinetic parts that can move individually or together to create geometric motion. Now that's a new form of communication because it uses both that lighting and motion simultaneously. As the mobility does its incredible 180 degree turn, I want you to focus on the bottom of the pillar module. There's a cylinder there, which is our eye safe lighting. Now that can serve as a couple of different functions. First of all, the pixel LED shows vehicle status, such as driving, charging, and a welcome. As that lamp module rotates within that cylinder, we'll have the road projection lighting that helps navigate pedestrians around the vehicle in a more safe manner with both lighting and sound. Lastly, the e-corner module, when coupled with that pillar module, allows those unique movements such as the turning in place or zero turn, diagonal driving, as well as parallel driving, which is our signature crab driving maneuver. As Leo starts to open that door, the first thing I want you to notice is that there's a transparent LED applied to the bottom half of the door. That allows us to communicate with the passengers and the pedestrians easily. You'll see those blue arrows showing that door open graphic guiding those passengers inside. Next, you'll see that rotating bench there. That's our pivoting bench. Now that can be folded, rotated, or detached, depending on the need when we have different layout configurations when the number uh, We're gonna start to move into the downtown of the future. I want you to notice the broadcast screens behind me will show you everything happening in real time inside so you can follow along. First thing I wanna point out, the four vertical display screens that are connected to the pillar module via the camera mounted there, allowing you to stream the external environment in real time to those display screens so you have almost a see-through like feel. Next, as we're starting to near our burger house up ahead, you're gonna see that we can actually seamlessly integrate with our external environment. Watch as we near that burger house, you're gonna see that there's a coupon code that pops up on the vertical display screen there, allowing you to almost make sure that it recognizes where you're going at all times. You're seeing some 2D and 3D graphics pop on those vertical display screens now. Those change based on the different roadways and buildings around you, allowing you to really assimilate more with that external environment. As we near a sports stadium up ahead, you'll see these banners show up on the screen, allowing you to actually send with air touch interaction some congratulations or celebrations to your favorite team, as Leo just showed you there. Now we're gonna to start to dim the lights a little bit, and it's my perfect time to showcase that roof mood lighting we have on the inside. So what we have is a proactive UX inside that can actually recognize what you wanna do with just your gaze. So if you wanna change the color of the light on the inside of that roof, you stare at it for three seconds, the artificial intelligence recognizes you wanna change that roof color, and then as Leo's showing right now here with his air touch interaction, you can change through those different lighting colors. Right now, the interior of the vehicle has turned into a submarine-like experience because that's as if you're going to an aquarium, which is the next destination he set on the navigation. 
So what it's doing is it's now having a whale cross between the vertical displays, giving it a full panoramic mixed reality feel, almost like it's one full connected space, increasing that mixed reality content and entertainment from those MR displays. You saw that iSafe lighting, it recognized that I was here, and it gave me some lighting to help me navigate around the vehicle as it's getting that to that final destination, which is that aquarium that it put in. It even had an audible sound that said, please walk safely. Lastly, our air touch interaction via the camera mounted on the top of the vertical display allows you to actually recognize the eyes and the hands of the passengers from that display so you can adjust things within that MR display by just using gesture. As Leo just showed, he called over some fun fish, some stingrays, and even a shark you might have seen swim by there, really upping that entertainment value as you're experiencing that mobility driving from place to place. Well, as you can see, it says Aqua Bay. We've made it to that final destination, that aquarium, and we are ready to get out of our mobility. So what do we do? Well, we use that proactive UX again. All you have to do is stare at the door for three seconds. It recognizes you want to open that door, and then you can swipe left or right to seamlessly exit your mobility.